What is up everyone? So we've had this little secret side project going on in the background. We've hinted at it quite a bit. The patrons already know all about it, but if you guys remember in one of the previous videos, very recently, we talked about how I wanted to retire the Jay-Z coupe. This thing has been with me for a long time. It's been through so much. It's taken so much abuse. I mean, literally drove it last weekend and had some more abuse. I'm not done driving it, but- The plan is to retire it. The plan is to retire, get it? ease itself into retirement. Very that doesn't mean that immediately it's never gonna be driven again. Exactly, so, and that is all up for interpretation. I talked about how I wanted a new, we'll say grassroots drift car, something mainly to go drive with the Front Street Boys and kind of like hang in that realm of cars. And well, I decided to start fresh with a new shell. You guys have already seen the drivetrain for it. We've hinted this already. We have this Not Shop SR20 that you guys can probably imagine what chassis this is gonna go in. Everyone knows I'm a big 240 kid, right? I love 240s. I get it, they're an overplayed car, but I don't care. This is, these are me. I love driving them, I love the style of them, I love everything behind them, and I know them very, very well. And so the question is, okay, Jimmy, what, we all know, what 240 are you gonna build? I've had the Cherry Hatch for years, it's such a good car, it's so clean. I have my Seafoam Coupe, that's the 50,000 miles, perfect Seafoam car. I mean, the front end doesn't match the imported front end, but the rest of the car is perfect. And of course I had my 180 shell. I honestly have a long list of reasons, and trust me, I had to explain them to Spoon and RJ multiple times <laughs> about why I didn't use one of these existing shells. And instead of me rambling on for the video, I'll talk about it at a Patreon podcast or something. Sound good? So I decided to get another 240 and well, with a huge help from the Front Street Boys, they have found me a car, did a bunch of work on it, prepped a bunch for me, make my life a lot easier, and been handling a bunch of it. And we actually have that all on film, so. Now you guys get to see exactly what car I decided to go with and, well, some front street nonsense, so check it out. All right, you got it? We're, we're rolling now? We're good? Yes? No? Hold on, is it zoomed all the way in? Is that why? It's fine, it's fine. What's up, guys? So you guys know Jimmy drove with us last year. Car was a little bit different than ours. It kind of, you know, worked, worked when it worked, but how me and Josh drive, everything's exactly the same. Our cars can be in the same place, same time. Everything he does, we could do, we can match, all that shit. So, Jimmy has a new car. If you could tell through the saran wrap, it's actually an S13 hatch, because he is a hatch guy. <laughs> <laughs> we found this car marketplace. We went down to Long Island, picked it up. It actually has a really cool backstory. Apparently it was pulled off the Nissan factory line and given to a factory Nissan race team. They didn't use it, lost budget, sold it to another person, sat there, didn't use it, and then sold it to one of our buddies, and now he didn't do anything with it either, so now we have it to do something <laughs> with it. So allegedly under this is a pin straight clean car that has like no driving miles on it, and it was gutted and stripped from the factory Nissan race team, so I haven't cut it open Allegedly, yet. allegedly. Allegedly, I don't know We're gonna for find sure. out. We're gonna cut it open. It's like a little Christmas present. See what, what we're working with under okay. here. I mean, this car's been sitting for almost 30 years and none of this is gonna be used at this point anyway. Bushings look pretty much brand new. None of this stuff really matters anyway because it's just all gonna be taken apart. All right, I'm cutting it open. Whoa, <laughs> that's actually really nice. The paint's like nice. This thing's cool. Oh, I actually see wiring to the doors already. So that's kind of good. Maybe this store is made up. Maybe just to, to upsell it. I mean, dude, look how clean this thing is. So look at even like the areas that should be rusty. This is, this is pretty... It's kind of green. This is pretty nice. No pop-ups, but we don't need those. We're working. Oh, the shit. There's an engine in here. I know. It looks like a UK block in there. Not for nothing. This body's really nice. Seems pretty solid. I doubt this is OEM. I think this store is made up. Me too. Trying to, trying to scam us. Oh, it's a random, it's a random pipe. I thought it was welding for a second. A lot of work to do. Got the hood open right now. You got the typical battery tray bullshit. A little surface rust. The, all this is in a clean up with a wire wheel anyway, so. This is a mint car on the East Coast. Yeah, someone in California would be like, oh, throw it out, throw it out. Yeah, this is a pretty. It's not, it's not good. This is nicer than my car. My car, me and you were like dropping our jaw over. Jimmy, I don't think he wants to keep abusing the black car that he has. Let him drive my car at final bout, and he was really stoked on it with like the SR, the 49, everything. He really liked the way the car felt and how responsive it was, like with the two-way and everything. So pretty much our plan with this car, even though it seems like we're a long way off at this point, is that we want to make a very simple car. Stock length lower control arms, cut knuckle, stock tie rod, basic adjustable arms, an SR or Jay-Z that's gonna make 400, 350, 400 horsepower, so he could turn laps with us. So, our no plan. Oh, we're not doing a Jay Z? No, 
Okay, all right. Apparently, it's not getting it's not getting a Jay Z. It's gonna get an SR. All right, help me grab this shit up. Oh. All right. Okay, we got some good parts in here. That's good. Five ninety nine eBay. Uncracked. Uncracked. Dash vents. That's when you go to put it in and it cracks. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Damn, son. <laughs> you see how easy that broke? This shit's garbage. Yo, what's up? It's Tom. We're taking the car to get caged. I guess that's like the first step of every drift car we build. But luckily enough, everything was stripped out and ready to go. So I clean, we cleaned it out, as you saw. And now we're going up to my buddy Joe's house to drop off the car for uh, him to start the roll cage and to keep full interior. And yeah. Wow. I wish I would have had this fucking in my car. Jesus. With the butt pad in? Like... With the butt pad. And the headliner. I'm nowhere near anything. I'm Joe, Action Fab. We did a simple six point, keep some room for interior. Fully TIG welded, X door bars. We kept the dash bar, so it's still got uh, heater core and AC accessibility. Could fit this guy in there, see that stuff? Nice. Joe's washed up, Sylvia. When I met Joe, he had a single cam. But any work you need from Joe, look, he put a new rear section on his car. Full nice. fuel cell, time joints, nice bash bars that will probably collapse when it hits. So we know the boys over at Oaks Garage, they have their hands full with a lot of projects. So Jimmy reached out to us to help him. Are you even going to be able to hear me with the rain? Damn, this hardware is nice. <laughs> you know, get this thing going for him and get pretty much most of the dirty work done so we can get to driving ASAP with it. That's how you remove a 240 subframe. On Jimmy's last video, they cut like the whole entire car. You don't need to do that with like a regular street car. So this is how we go about it. Usually use a piece of rope, not an iPhone cable is all we got right now. I usually go a little bit above this line. You find your center, you hold it right here. Then you just do one of these. Something like that. Something like this. But wait, as awesome as these cars are, they do take a lot of work. First time to take a subframe out, usually it doesn't come out without a little convincing, but maybe we'll get lucky. These cars in general, all S chassis are the most versatile drifting chassis out there for the past 30 years. You can put pretty much any engine you want in it. All these companies make so many different parts. These cars do take a lot of time, money, and effort. And as these cars get older, it doesn't really get any easier. I will be selling this on my page, at Front Street Tom, highest bidder gets it. All right, so I haven't ever seen this car in person. I've only seen it in pictures, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, spoon, the same is for you, unless you snuck down to that island on me and didn't tell me. I, I am not willing to take. We'll see if uh, if Tom's been honest with the condition. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, there it is. That's a bare project. Holy crap. Yeah. Need more rust. Okay, there's more rust than I thought. <laughs> this is shit. No, it's fine, Spoon. Yeah. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's a drift car. It's a slick top, right? It's got no sunroof, which is sick. Cage is definitely worth more than the car. The roof is clean, which is huge. Comes with a good clean pop-up hood because I need one. For the cherry hatch. This is good, see? These are all positives we're talking right now. Wingless trunk, fire. Hasn't ever been crashed into yet, which is great. <laughs> yet. We all know Tom's gonna stove that quarter in a few times. This is exciting. It's exciting stuff. Dude, the cage is really nice, isn't oh it? Oh my god. The cage is super tight. He knew I was a tall boy, so. Hey, I just it's, welds in his finish. You hear spoon? Gas up another fabricator? That's crazy. If a fabricator's gas up another fabricator, you're good. Yeah, that thing's tucked up, dude. That's so good. Yeah, the only thing nice about this car is the cage. So the cage is nice. See, we got one thing. This is all surface. This is exciting, right? <laughs> this is really exciting. Another S chassis. <laughs> we love this stuff. Another coupe. The car is not rolling, which makes things even more fun. So, uh... And it's cold again. This is, it's very it's cold. Don't so. let the sun fool you, it's 32 yeah, degrees outside. Bunch of parts in the trunk. You bring me a 2J or what? No, no, that's for me. Is that diff for me? That diff for you, subframes, front and rear. I have the back window. Let's get this thing inside and, and really dig into it. We got a lot of stuff to move. All hands on deck. All the parts we'll put in. The closer we can kind of get it out of the, just like, that's the worst part about this, how many parts we gotta find a home for. Everything's good, we're gonna make it work. 
junkyard in the back. It's got plenty of room for homes. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, this is good. This is good. This is exciting to everyone. Be really. <laughs> Here, boys. Someone just started getting new stuff. Some parts are nice. <laughs> Dr. Octopus. I can get the forklift for me if I. Real quick, scoop it. Jimmy said no. He said he wants to see us suffer today. So luckily, we have a little bolt-on dolly action we use on all the uh, Nissans right there, so. Well, good to go. All right, now do it. Everything's good. Old squad, damage prevention team, back at it again. Come on. Ah. Look at that! It's a rolling shell again, baby! Oh, at least close enough to it. <laughs> Going between the rocks! Can you see it? Can you see the vision? I see it. It's beautiful. I like the vision. You like it? Yeah, Thank spoon you. might be being negative, but... It's a little... I, I, I see it. It's a little rusty than anticipated. It is what it is. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. That's what they say. Ah, she's home. Here it is, my 21st S chassis. Is it really? Did you count? Yeah, the S14 was the 20th. Remember? That's like that was the fun thing about it. I don't own all of them still. Yeah, but just 11 of them. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't it be blue? I'm sick of red. Yeah, we've been on a streak. If you look at the last three months of videos, every thumbnail is red. It's I didn't anticipate it. You know what happens was I kept saying I needed more red cars yeah, again. You and definitely then. smoking into pressure. That seems to be happening. I should GT3 RS, GT3 RS, GT3 RS. <laughs> Still have a truck bed where the parts unload, so let's get to it. From Phil, pig mats. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Treasure. Headache. <laughs> it depends how you look at it, right? Look at your sister. I was gonna say, that one is gonna look like. Yeah, ready? <laughs> 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 Come on. That's the Front Street 2026 car, right? 2026. No! <laughs> That's so, here's the thing, right? Always made our cars really, really nice, right? We, we, we do that. We make cars really nice because we like having nice things. With this car, I'm not saying I'm not going to build this car nice, but I'm definitely not going to stress every little detail as I, ha I usually do, right? I've kind of learned that in drifting, your shell is a wearable item. It's kind of crazy to say, but it's true. At least if you want to drive at a certain level, right? Going into this, you know, I, I don't want to focus so crazy on every little seam, every little detail, having to bondo every little pinhole and everything. I just want to get this thing to not be rusty. Paint the bay black, keep it simple. We're gonna throw the drivetrain in. I'm not gonna, like, it's it's all cookie cutter stuff. Everything is off the shelf. It's all bolt on stuff. There's not gonna be any customization. We have to do intercooler piping and exhaust and run custom fuel lines and stuff like that, but that's nothing. The very bolt on ordeal after we finish prepping the chassis. We got, they've already done a ton of the prep work. Yeah, we got the cage in it, which is beautiful. Uh, Tom cut until the quarters, which is huge. It's a, a, a day and a half worth of work. It is rusty, or rustier than I thought. So we have to neutralize all that so it doesn't spread. We got the SR ready for it. Just throw it in and make it work. I know it always sounds easier than it is. I mean, it's a full build, but we've done it a million times before. These cars are easy. Um, I can build it in my head. I'm not stressed about it. We have almost all the parts. Well, we have almost all the major parts for it, and well, it'll come together quick. I'm not too stressed about it, even though it does look quite stressful. Real quick before getting anything, I want to get all the parts that we have to send off to sandblasting sent off right away so we can get this stuff sandblasted, get the new bushings and get everything powder coated so we have a good foundation. This is all stuff that can get done on the side easily, so I will take it. Any progress is good progress, right? Take in now how crusty everything is because uh, before you know it, this thing will be, it'll be quite a gem. You know, co coming from the Northeast, you see, you, you learn to look 
through the surface thrust, <laughs> you know? We can see the light at the end of the tunnel, but it's very far away. But. So you want to drift the S chassis in 2024, huh? Well, you're about to find out. I'm this close to going back to Honda's. <laughs> that bad, huh? Over ass chassis. <laughs> it's ass chassis season again. You guys are doing ass chassis stuff. I'm back on Everyone's it. Everyone's doing ass chassis stuff. It's great to see. Love to see it. The smell of the stink in the air. It's good. Is this it. trash or treasure? This treasure. is treasure. Look at that dash. I know the internet's pretty sick ass chassis, but it's it's what I love. Dude. I don't it's think they ever are. It's different every single time. Think about it. You build one, and then the next one you build, it's like leveling up. I have to de-level a little bit for this car, but like it'll work out. Red. Okay. Coupe. Okay. Cage. Okay. Yeah. Now this is a great car. <laughs> Thank you. I needed that energy around. Just by looking at it for a second, this is a great car. Got to appreciate the fine. The finer. Thing. See, these are real. S this is how S chassis owners talk, right? <laughs> Justify bullshit. Yeah, I can see that. That's not bad. Good car. See? Yeah, they, Good car. I really needed this. We'll see what Brian has to say about it. He'll be the real contender. Yeah. He's out there. I like this. I'm just like hearing them like, oh, good, good, good. Yeah, good. Sick. Yeah. Your rear panel is in good shape. Sick, right? Oh, this is good. Keep the good going. I feel like if you were to go on Marketplace right now and try to find a car kind of similar like this, it's very hard. Very Oops, hard. especially. Picture it now. That is going to be thick. No, I've just never seen those. Take whatever you need. No, I don't need no, it. Take don't whatever you no, need. I'm asking about the rear defrost vents. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need anything. <laughs> no, this is good stuff. He just needs stuff. There's no room on it. Just. Oh my God. Throw it on top. Everyone decided to show up right on time. My, my team here. <laughs> the team? My team. Come on. Spoon, spoon. <laughs> um, what you got? I don't think anything needs to be painted. No, no, no. We need a little bit of... Uh, this car is a little rustier than I anticipated. <laughs> and Brian, you are that's the... That's my... <laughs> that's you. <laughs> he said... Right? That's me. <laughs> I've seen him restore. Shit, that's my department. This chassis too. Remember when you did Sammy's car and you got the yeah, car painted? Sammy's car. And it came to get the engine bay done. You said this car is total. Why'd you get this thing painted? And you made it work. It is nice. Look, you tell me. Come on, talk. This isn't gonna be a show car. It's gonna be a this. The whole thing is this gonna be a tool for having fun. That's how I'm seeing it, right? Which what, what? What do we got? Stick your head in there. You tell me. That's fucking lightweight. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm telling you, bro. This is the energy I need around. No, I mean, listen, this it, is, uh, here's the thing, I'm a, there's a difference between like a restoration car and a, and a bash car. A bash car, you got a situation like this, you're almost better off just converting the rust, uh, like maybe sandblasting what's bad away and just welding a plate over the top. You know what I mean? Nice and strong, whatever. You're, this this car's not gonna last forever. We I'm thinking we're gonna bring this shell down to the, the, the sandblaster and just sandblast the whole front clip like Sammy's car. Make life easier. That would make life easier. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking just weld a bunch of shit on it and call it a day. No, this is crazy though. <laughs> like for that. this car to be this rusty and this to be this nice, this one part, it must have been sitting on grass. What or the something. hell? Yeah. <laughs> usually this is the first. It's the go. first thing to go. It is rusty because it was leaky. Yeah, well on that oh, side. Yeah. yeah. Our corner. I'm still solid. Right. This, Ouch. this side hurts me. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, it was leaking. It was leaking a lot. It is what it is. What are you trying to say? <laughs> it, it, it is what it is. A sequel. Es lo que es. Es lo que es. Yeah, that's it. it I've been trying to learn Spanish. I'm not good at it. Es lo que es. Es lo que es. Yeah, I, the, the worst part is just the, the shock tower. That's I'm fine. Releasing from the frame rail. But. Stitch weld the whole thing, never think about it again. Pretty much, yeah. ramble 
on about this car for another 20 minutes, but I'm excited. There's a little more rust than we anticipated, but that's, that's no big deal. We talked about why, how we're gonna build this car and the purpose of it, and I'm not too stressed about it. Spoon put the fenders on real quick because he got sick of looking at the rust, but we have a plan. I never got to mention how incredible this cage, this cage came out, by the way. It is beautiful. Like having a good fitting cage will make your car because having a bad fitting cage will completely ruin a car. We've all seen it. I got very lucky Did the cat hump delete when we got my driver's seat super, super low, all ready to go. So all that custom fabric is out of the way and now it's time for us to quickly prep the chassis. I have most of the drivetrain and then it's just gonna be like ready YouTube magic. That's the goal. We get to do all the fun shit. We get to do the fun shit. I didn't plan on this being a big part of the channel. Um, just because you guys have seen it do this a million times before, I definitely want to introduce this to you guys can hear the story and the narrative of all of it. If you guys would like to see uh, a decent amount of the pro project, let me know. If not, I'll happily keep this thing on the side and just tinker on it when we can because we do have a lot of stuff right there. See that? A lot, lot of stuff going on and more to come. So I had to go back with a coop. I never mentioned why I went with a coop again. That's just you. Exactly. That's just you. I was tempted to switch it up and to go with a hatch, switch it up, just change the timelines, but I'm a coupe guy. Same with a coupe. But for now, you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you guys very shortly.